Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I gotta talk to you about getting ads correct. I gotta correct something that you guys have been talking about. Now, what am I talking about exactly? Well, let's start with the comment section on one of Corey's last videos titled Spotify Ad Update. Now, here's one of the comments. Making music is keeping me alive, wrote, yeah, maybe it's not for me. They're saying in the comments that Instagram and Facebook ads are cheaper. I ran a video campaign on YouTube and it got me like 8,000 views and 14,000 watch minutes on a video called Teddy Bear, but there's no reaction really, so I don't know. And also it seems like he spent a similar budget to what Corey was spending on the Spotify ads campaign. But here's a perfect example because you always have to understand what are the results? The click through is not your ultimate result. Click throughs are nice, but really they're indicative of what you want. You say you want more people to click through at a lower rate because you want as many fans as you can for as less money. But your ultimate goal is the fans. So what if you have a $5 click through rate? Obviously that's far more than like 30 cents as a click through rate, but if you spend $50 and you get 10 fans, not just click through, but 10 fans, every single one of those people who click through are fans, then that's way better than reaching a thousand people. I'm throwing out a random number for $300 or $30 at a 30 cent click through rate, but getting zero fans. Or to keep it simple, you can spend that same $50 but you just get zero fans from it. A lot of times what you're gonna find is getting higher quality outreach to the right people will cost more in some situations. I'm not recommending that you guys use Spotify ads necessarily, and I'm not saying that I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use them in this particular video either, but just remember the ultimate goal is the fans, not the click-through itself. So don't say I'm gonna go here because the click-throughs are cheaper, particularly if you don't know one, how to use the platform, and two, if the correct people that you need to get to are there in the first place. Marcellus wrote in the comments of that same video, I tried it and spent $250 on two clicks. Yeesh, that's a lot. Only do these ads if you have money to spend and a marketing specialist. Now, to be honest, a lot of these ad campaigns, you really need a marketing specialist if you don't know what you're doing. It just ends up wasting a lot of money. I see a lot of random videos on using Facebook ads and you should use Facebook ads and all these ads. But at the end of the day, it seems maybe a lot of these people who are even talking about you should use Facebook ads probably aren't great at using them themselves. I'm gonna work on creating something for you guys for that, but that's probably at least month away for now just remember that the quality of those click throughs who's clicking through and what they become at the end a real fan versus someone who just listened is far more important because the person with that long YouTube name about uh, music saving their life or keeps them alive made a very interesting observation saying they got all these click throughs but there's no reaction so what exactly does that mean if you don't have any reactions you probably don't have any fans but you made it out to way more people and lastly, before I get out of here for this particular video, consider the fact of what Corey said at the end of the video where he said this might still just be good in terms of the Spotify ads for awareness in a larger campaign. If you have visibility on Instagram or you're running ads on Instagram, this could just be a leg of your marketing budget. And now, because you get noticed in other places, this is bringing brand awareness. It's not always about getting click-throughs. You have to remember that there's multiple types of marketing. Sometimes it's just the sheer awareness. So you just want them to see your name and instill that message and get that familiarity. Sometimes you want them to actually click on what you're doing. You have a promotion. You want them to listen and drive different actions. Sometimes you're trying to get them to engage. Sometimes you just want them to consume and don't necessarily need them to engage. There's a lot of different variations. Possibly I might do a video breaking it down. Who knows? Just might, but other than that, for right now, I wanna know what you guys think. Wanna hear more thoughts on campaigns that you have done that you think aren't worth it, things that you think are worth it, and do you make sure that you actually follow up after the click-throughs on the campaigns that you've run to see if those people have become actual fans? Cause that short-term boost doesn't mean anything if it doesn't result in at least some fans over time. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.